What is up, Cryatics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in my next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Declasse Gang Burrito. So this vehicle came out with the original heist update in March of 2015 and can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for $86,000 or $65,000 if you have the trade price. And this van actually has a decent amount of visual customization which is always great to see from some of these older vehicles. Now the Gang Burrito name was first introduced in GTA Vice City and episodes from Liberty City as well which is very similar to the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, till this day, the Gang Burrito is still the king for van races on most tracks. So if you're one of those players that wants to have the fastest vehicle for racing in every single class, you might want to consider adding this one to your garage if you don't have it already, especially since it's relatively cheap considering the GTA economy. Now, I will mention that the Rumpo Custom is very competitive with the Gang Burrito, but the Gang Burrito is just a lot more consistent because the Rumpo Custom tends to go on two wheels because of how lifted it is when you take certain corners, plus the Gang Burrito has a higher top speed on top of that as well, so the Gang Burrito is ultimately the better overall van performance-wise. But anyways, in terms of what the Gang Burrito is based on, is primarily based on the third generation GMC Vandera, specifically the facelifted model produced from 1992 to 1996. Now, all the custom parts on this van are inspired by the A-Team van. However, the A-Team van itself used the pre-facelifted version of this van, as you can see here, by the different front end. And honestly, that's not surprising considering Rockstar loves to mix things up on certain cars. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Gang Burrito. Alright, Gang Burrito, 18 van. Let's do it. Do okay, we got armor, brakes. Bull bars. So you have a primary colored stock bull bar. So the stock one, I guess, is just like a, a normal black, a matte black. Okay, you got the chrome for the, uh, wait a minute, why is this chrome? Shouldn't it be, I go, I guess it's just black. This Our secondary color right now is black. So I, I guess it's the lighting, I guess it is black, okay. Then you have black classic, you have primary color, then you have secondary color classic. So the classic one will be the closest to the actual A-Team van, if that's what you're kind of going for. Um, so I guess we'll do the black classic bull bar there. Uh, bumpers, so here you can do a secondary colored bumper. Um, which the A-Team van, the bumpers were primary color, so the primary paint of the van, which was black. So we're going to keep that stock, and same thing with the rear. Um, engine upgrade, exhaust. So you have a single as a stock, then you got dual, then you got quad setup, and then here you have the side exit exhaust. So the actual A Team van did have side exit exhaust. Um, so that's pretty cool. I guess we'll do that. Grill, you have a primary colored grill and then a secondary colored grill. Uh, I think I'll leave the stock, honestly, because it's a bit darker and I think it looks better. Uh, the lights, I think we'll just leave the stock uh, white lights there. Uh, plate, give it a black background, and I think our Murica plate suits this very, very well. <laughs> so we'll throw that on there. Um, respray. So for this, um, I guess we're gonna go black. So put a matte black Your base to get rid of the pearl, and then we'll throw our crew black on there, which is darker than the regular black. I am gonna go the 18 band uh, colors, obviously. So. Yeah, we'll do the crew color black and then our secondary in the red for the stripe. Love it. Now obviously the actual A Team van, the, the stripe was very different compared to this one. So the stripe on the actual A Team van, it went um, up to like the spoiler. It was a really cool design. Um, for the GTA version, they kind of changed it up a little bit, which 
they kind of have to. <laughs> um, Rockstar doesn't really copy stuff 100%. Um, now, nowadays in 2022 and 2021, they are, you know, taking more risk and making the cars closer to real life counterparts and liveries and all that. But back in 2015, not so much. <laughs> um, all right, so black and red color combo, Kremlin for this thing goes in the hood. Okay. Continuing to roof. Oh, you got the colored visor. Okay, so you got glass black, which is primary, and then the secondary. So the stock one is like a black I'm really dark matte black we'll do the primary like the real one so perfect there um, so custom double spoiler so the stock spoiler um, unfortunately like with almost every car in GTA that has a spoiler upgrade when you apply the upgrade it adds the traction benefit as you can see there a little blue bar um, but unfortunately the stock spoilers do not give you that traction benefit so you have to buy <laughs> Um, the spoiler upgrade, even if you don't like the way it looks, it's a bit unfortunate. I would have preferred if they would have had, um, you know, no spoiler on it, and then you buy the spoiler as an upgrade, or maybe different color variations or secondary color somethings to make the traction benefit work. So we're gonna have to put this one on here for that extra traction benefit. Unfortunately, it doesn't look all that bad. It's a bit larger. Um, and it has a double spoiler thing, but I do like the stock one a bit more. But again, traction benefit, so we'll put that there. The oh, and the AT van, obviously, it had the gray on top. So it had more colors, black, gray, and red. So this one's just black and red. You can't do the other uh, colored section, unfortunately. But suspension, so here, I mean, you could really, really lower this thing. Look at that. Like, that's insane. You can almost slam this thing. Now, the actual 18 van, it was pretty high off the ground. Um, it was actually a little higher than this, I believe. Um, so I think we're going to keep the stock suspension, even though this does look cool, kind of like a drift vehicle, but it looks a little excessive to me. <laughs> so we'll leave the stock suspension there. Transmission, turbo, wheels. So, believe it or not, these wheels are actually exclusive to the Gang Burrito. The only ones that are close, if we go to the muscle uh, category, is the Mercenary wheels right here. But you can see they have less spokes than those. And the Lowrider ones, kind of similar to these, but it has way too many spokes. Plus it has the chrome <laughs> and the barrel, so yeah. The, the stock is definitely the closest you're going to get to the actual 18 van wheels. Um, with the red and then the black barrel, um, that's the closest you're going to get, definitely, by far. It's not going to get closer than that. Um, so, I don't know. I, th I think I'm, I'm going to keep those. I, I really think I am. Because, I mean, the muscle ones don't look all that great. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. And then I kind of like the these right here, the hot ring steelies. I think those are pretty nice, but I don't know. I, I don't think it would look right. Uh, in red, I think it'll be too much, and in black, it's not going to look good here, so Honestly, I think we'll keep the stock wheels. That's the closest you're gonna. It's already on it. You don't have to look for it It's it's there. That's the closest one so and it's exclusive to this so we'll keep that uh, Windows a black amount and that's all the options there. So not too bad there 18 van build love it exit to ground and it happens to be the fastest uh, performing van in the vans class on top of that Plus, you have the cool, like, A-Team van nostalgia. It's just a great vehicle to have in your garage. And I do believe all the lights work. Okay, well, not all of them. Only the uh, the top ones. So the, the ones on the bumper here don't work, but the uh, ones on top do. So that's cool. First person. Like an SUV interior in here. Okay, not too bad. Let's floor it. No wheel spin at all. Just goes. The handling is really good for a van. Wow. I haven't driven this thing in so long. It's actually really impressive. What the heck? It has a really good steering response. Anytime you have the best performing vehicle in a class, I mean, it's going to drive good for the most part. <laughs> this thing does. Look at that! What? That's impressive. I guess that spoiler upgrade definitely helps a lot, too. That's impressive. Like, that's that's truly impressive. It's so easy to drive. Wow. I mean, a van handling that well. <laughs> that's that's awesome. 
That is so awesome. And it's not slow either. It moves pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed. Let's go a little quicker here. Letting off the throttle, but we forced that a little more here. Let's do a sharp turn. Wow, that is that's impressive. Like that's <laughs> that is not bad at all. Look at that. It's so smooth. So smooth. Absolutely love it. A fantastic drive for sure. I I'm impressed. I really am. You got the high beams, the lights on top. It's been a while since I've driven this. Unfortunately, most players don't do van races. Um, for the majority of GTA, I think I've only ever played. I mean, I I've I've competed in a lot of races, over ten thousand over the since 2013 over that, that span of years. Um, and I've only been in definitely less than ten van races. <laughs> in my entire time doing races in GTA. So yeah, they're not popular by any means, but if you happen to come across that rare time, you know, to race in vans, uh, you'll have it ready. But not, it's not really necessary. But in the end, I mean, it's still a cool van to have. A team van. I mean, who doesn't love that? It's awesome. Very quirky. I love it. Right, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. First person, vehicle doors, and nice. The same exact engine model from the uh, the Yugo we customized last time. The same exact one with the the pulley with like the ha a quarter of a belt just hanging there. The same exact thing. <laughs> it is copied and pasted of the Yugo uh, engine model, which is just awful. Yeah, that that kind of sucks. Just. <laughs> A little, a quarter of a belt just hanging there. <laughs> okay, well I guess we'll ignore that. Interior, yeah, looks pretty good. Got like an SUV dash there. Not bad. The door panels, the roll-up windows. Okay, and back here. So back here, players can sit. Um, so this is a four-seater. So that's nice. The Yuga we customized last week in the last video. Um, that one was only a two-seater. So here you have a four-seater, and it's faster. And um, depending on what you like, it might look better to you, or it might look worse. I don't know. I, I think they're, they're both good-looking vehicles. It's kind of funny. We're saying vans are good-looking. But hey, when they have customization and stuff, um, or they're very nostalgic, like from a TV show from the 80s, it, <laughs> they are cool. So, yeah. This thing's awesome. Very, very cheap considering the GTA economy. I would definitely recommend picking one up if you have a lot of garage space. I um, think it's cool to have, and it actually drives really nice. It, it's surprising. It really is. And I'm sure when you have it in this color scheme, um, other players will recognize it as the A-Team van. So, it's worth having. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.